Good morning, everybody. Pat's Plates TV on this cold, rainy morning, relatively speaking. <laughs> I hope you're all doing well. Just want to go ahead and check in with you. Um, so, Nyarit, Nyarit hasn't changed. Nyarit still requires um, that if you are buying a vehicle, registering a vehicle in the state of Nyarit, that there is a federal uh, tax invoice called a factura issued in your name right so that's the way it is so what that means is if you're buying a car used private party uh they're going to go ahead and they're just want to go ahead and give you the original factor from the dealership or maybe the original factor and then they had one made in their name uh that's not completely legit but it worked previously for nyari it may or may not show the tax it needs to show that tax that tax is called eva iva it's basically your value added tax here in Mexico, 16%, uh, you know, for the past decade or so. And so it shows the sales price of the car and then it shows the 60% tax and then the total amount right there. Uh, so that's why Nairi started cracking down. Too many people were cheating. Uh, we were never big cheaters. You know, we always told our clients, let's do it right, pay your tax. But unfortunately, there's others out there that, you know, they just took too many kicks at the cat, as they say in Canada. So what does that mean? That means that if you buy your car and the person selling it to you doesn't want to go ahead and do a sales invoice in your name, then you can't register the vehicle in Nyeri. Um Why will they not want to do that to you? Well, typically because one, it requires an RFC, a federal tax number to go ahead and log into the system, or have a cabinet log into the tax system here and generate that. Uh, so, and then based off of that, one client contacted us and said, I talked to my accountant, if I want to sell my newer Volkswagen, uh, or probably my Honda CRV, you know, it's 400 and something thousand pesos I want to sell it for, and then I'm going to have to pay 35% tax. That is a max tax bracket. It could be less. It could be 15 or 20, depending on income. I think personally it would have been lower, but still people are like, I don't want to pay tax. And especially here in Mexico, they're not big on paying taxes. So if you're buying from a Mexican national, it's very unlikely that they'll go ahead and issue you that uh, vector in your name. The other thing too, is that the when you, when you issue a vector, you have to collect that 16% sales tax. So that seller has to collect that tax of 16% from you, right? So you're going to pay 16% on top of the sales price or has to be included so they're going to make less money either way like i said most sellers are not going to do that for you so what we do as a workaround with past plate tv is we go ahead and register the vehicle uh for our nyari residents we register the vehicle in the state of jalisco it's the easiest way to do it because jalisco still does it the old way which is you can take the original dealership uh, invoice factura or you know and then utilize that to register the car, the seller just signs off on the back of that saying, I released the rights to, in Spanish, to Bob. And we're able to register in Bob's name. Uh, a lot of people are going, but no, I live in Nayarit. I have to have Nayarit plates. This is Mexico. This is Mexico. You know, it sounds so cliche, but this is Mexico. Ideally, what you want is valid registration right doesn't matter where the states come from ideally from where you're from where you're from but especially here if you live in Bucerias, la cruz sayulita you know if, if you live here in the general area you're basically you know you're right next door to puerto Vallarta. so it's not an issue cops aren't going to give you a hassle about it it is what it is you know it's just the way that you have to do it there so if you're looking for assistance, we're happy to assist. Go ahead and contact us at Pat's Plates PV. And, um, you know, our advice is free. We just charge for our services. Go, go ahead and reach out. If you have questions, go ahead and put your questions in the comments. And I'll go ahead and clarify. Have a great one. Thanks for watching Pat's Plates PV TV.